welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a super simple Dollar Tree DIY. It's on the farmhouse, springish look. It's uh, mid January, and truth be told, I am super, super ready for the cold weather to go away. Um, we actually had a really nice snow day yesterday. It's been sort of chilly, but the cold season's not really my season, so I'm super looking forward to spring because. I usually always share a lot of stuff for spring, so we're gonna call this a farmhouse spring uh, DIY. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All right, let's get on to the DIY. I'm gonna start with a terracotta pot from Dollar Tree and they come in a set of two. I already painted it with chalkboard paint. So I'm gonna take this tip from a viewer. So she said to start out with the darker color going to the light. So doing the chalkboard paint first, then I'm gonna take this dark gray and just dab it on there with a paper towel. Then I'm gonna go into it with a silver paint um, and these are acrylic paints, the Craft Smart paints and I'm gonna do the same thing, just dab it on there. And I actually really, really like how this is looking. So originally I wasn't going to paint that part that you see exposed, but in the end I did end up painting it. For my base, I'm taking two pieces of foam board and I'm just going to measure out as much uh, space as I can for four of these pots and I'm going to mark the part where I'm going to round it out at the edge. But looking at your castle, I'm pretty sure you're safe but still afraid. So I have two pieces, but as you can see, I did draw like a frame looking thing around the top one. And I'm going to go ahead and use my X-Acto knife to cut that piece out. For the bottom part, I am going to take some Dollar Tree craft sticks and just cut them to size and glue them all across the board. Past the copper statues of everyone you so taking that dark gray color and a baby wipe, I'm going to add it onto the craft sticks. The first layer is going to be sort of thick, so I'm going to take a clean baby wipe after that and then just try to take the excess off so it looks more like a stain. So the reason I'm doing it this way is so that it has a little bit of depth to it and it's not just flat. And then taking my Walmart jute twine, I'm going to glue it right inside of the edge and then all the way around the top and the sides. I'm also going to make some handles using some Dollar Tree rope. Lower down the bridge and let me in. Will you? You'll never get to know me. I started out using a chalk marker but it wasn't bright enough so I'm using this Dollar Tree chalk crayon and it's honestly not as smooth or as neat as I would like it to. Um, as you can see it kind of falls apart a little bit but it is a lot brighter. I could always give it another go with the marker but for now this is going to work just fine. I also did add some pieces of floral foam inside of the pot, added some of my moss and then some greenery from Walmart. Get to know me from within. Will you? I woke up in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right. It gets me. Couldn't see what you saw in me. Ooh, na, na, na. But you showed me how to believe. Still gets me. When I look back, I can see you're hiding. Stand 
Alright you guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Say bye guys. Bye bye guys. <laughs> Say see you later. Say see you tomorrow. <laughs>